It's Friday and you know what that means. It's time for some sewing chat. I'm Mari with Mari Sews. If you're new here, welcome. I'm glad you found me. And if you have been hanging with me for a while, thank you so much. So you all, I'm really excited to tell you that I'm one of the six ambassadors for the Sew a Maxi Challenge for Mother's Day. It's Sew Maxi for Mother's Day Challenge. The challenge is actually hosted by Crystal from Crystal Sews and Stuff and T from Crumpets Tea and Sewing. And this is their third annual challenge. And I'm really excited to be able to take part in it because there is a theme, you all. Yes. There's a theme this year, and that theme is so bold and so bright. And I'm really excited about it because those are two things that I love to do. I love to sew with bold and bright fabrics just because I feel like they're really uplifting and real cheerful. So it's going to be a fun one. In case you don't know what a maxi is or what actually qualifies for a maxi, for this challenge, let me tell you, it's actually pretty open. You can sew dresses, skirts, jumpsuits, or flowy, long, voluminous pants like this. And I mean, really what you have to keep in mind is that it has to be like mid calf or longer, and it's gotta have some volume to it. Think all that fun, flowy action going on, right? And you all, you don't have to be a mother. You don't even have to be a woman to do this challenge. This challenge is open to everybody, any gender, and we want to see your maxis. As I had mentioned, I'm actually in really good company here with all of these other ambassadors. So make sure that you're following them here on YouTube or over at Instagram. And we're gonna try to sprinkle some love on all of your guys' makes. So a quick rundown of all of these ambassadors, and you know I'm gonna list all of the information in the description box below, right? Right. So we have Jen with Today and Jen's Sewing Room, and then we also have So Natural Dane and the Merry Maker. And then of course, my girl Talisha over at Creativity by T and Koitique May. So make sure that you check all of them out. We're all going to be making garments and we're all going to be cheering you on. Did I mention that there's actually prizes for this challenge? Yes, there are prizes. And so I'm going to show you right here a list of all of the sponsors. They are giving patterns. They're giving haberdashery, which I, I think is the British term for notions. A lot of it though. And then they're also giving away jewelry, fabric, all kinds of stuff. And if I'm not mistaken, I think there's going to be six to seven winners. Now, now let's talk about some rules now that we're sitting here talking about winners and prizes, okay? So rule number one, you have to sew a maxi. Make it bold and bright. And here's another rule for you. Make sure that your maxi was sewn between April 11th and May 16th. Last day to post your picture to Instagram is May 16th, you all. So that's after Mother's Day. Enjoy Mother's Day. Enjoy it with mama. If you've got kids, enjoy your day. Just, just enjoy that day. And then post your pictures, okay? I really want to see them. I'm nosy that way. And while you're actually posting that picture to Instagram, make sure that you're using the hashtag SoMaxi for Mother's Day. And you're also tagging Crystal over at Crystal Sews and Stuff, as well as T tea with, tea, with Crumpets Tea and Sewing. You have to tag both of them and use the hashtag to get your entry counted. That's very important. And also, I'm not sure if I mentioned, you know, I, I kind of got a little carried away with all of the winner talk and prizes and stuff like that, but make sure that your maxi is voluminous. I mean, if you're making trousers, we want to see trousers that look like a skirt, like, you know, that kind of volume. It's, it's going to be so good. Guys, so I already mentioned that you don't have to be someone's mama to be able to enter into this contest. 
I mean, try sewing for your mama or someone else's mama or sew for yourself. I mean, don't come for me because I'm sitting here telling you to like sew for somebody's mama, right? Like if you want to practice self-care by sewing something for yourself, do it. I'm not judging you. <laughs> not at all. Look, I can't judge you for doing something that I don't even want to do. I mean, for real, I don't, I don't like sewing for my mama. I mean, I, I would like to sew for her, but she doesn't even wear the stuff that I sew for her. So, I mean, like, it kind of takes the fun out of it. I'm not going to sew for her. Well, well, that's, I mean, we all know that's a lie, right? I mean, mom, mom, you can have whatever you want. As long as it's not for your dog. I'm not sewing for your dog. No. And while, and while we're on the topic, make sure that you sew something for this challenge that's for people. Hmm. Let's get into the fabric and then we're going to talk patterns. Ah! Okay, so I had this wonderful yellow. Now this is actually, I don't think the camera picks it up as well, but it's actually a super bright yellow on white cotton wall. Voile, voile, voile. Ah, that looks a little better. So this is something that would be considered bright and bold. It's got a large pattern on it and it's that bright yellow color. So this is what I'm going to be using. And I've got four yards of this, so I have got plenty. And actually, I was thinking about pairing this fabric right here with this pattern. And I was thinking about this view here, which is view D, and this is McCall's 8060. What I like about this pattern is that it's got the princess sleeves and of course it hits that maxi challenge with that long flowy length. But I, when summertime hits, I really like to go sleeveless. So I think this is really going to be really cute with this fabric. But there's also one other that I'm thinking and I'm, I'm leaning towards this direction. This dress right here. This is Butterick 6677, and I really like what she's wearing. Now, it's hard to tell what she's got on, but let me just tell you. It's like this, but longer, but with this skirt, actually. So it's this upper portion with this skirt. That's what she's wearing. By the way, her floral dress right here would be considered bold, and so would her yellow one, but that's not maxi. I get that maxi. It's got really cute details. I like the flounce that it has around the shoulders here. Oof, flounce. The tied waist to stitch in my little waist. And it also has pockets. And you can actually see them better in the line drawing. Do you see the pockets? Hello. So I'll be doing this view right here. With that. Now, some other things that I'm actually thinking about making is this one right here. And this is Simplicity 3503. This is actually designed for, you know, your stretchy jerseys, stretch velvets, your, your knits, your stretchy knits, right? And I really love dresses like this for summer. I mean, you can just throw them on and go. And if you use the right fabric, they don't even wrinkle. I mean, it's just like, I feel like it doesn't get any better than this. The majority of these patterns I got at like one of those Joanne sales for like $1.99 or 99 cents. This one I picked up off of Etsy at All Sets Treasures. Of course, I'll link to it below, but you all, I could really see myself making view C here, which is like a halter neck. Let me see if I can show you the back. No. You see here, this is a halter neck, actually right here too. Can you see that? Nice halter neck, nice and long. It wraps around the neck up top, has some like gathers. I, I think it's a winner. Of course, there's also this one, which is Vogue 9373. This one has princess seams, 
Um, it looks like it has a couple of plates like up at the neckline. I think this is beautiful too. Oh, I, I want one of these in my closet so bad. Wait, wait, wait. I actually, I have one of these. I bought a dress that's similar to this, but it's so good. I could use more. And if you're really looking for a challenge, I mean, if you're like really looking to like bring something home, bring it home, you could solve this. How about a nice little period piece a la Outlander? <laughs> I mean, I would consider that a maxi. That's like full on, flowy, voluminous. It's a little, I don't know, maybe Renaissance or something, but like, why not? Yes, I I would I I die for someone to make that. I mean, I would love it. All jokes aside, these are a couple of big four patterns that you could consider making if you're looking at dresses. Really, the sew so maxi for Mother's Day is the biggest and most exciting thing I have going on right now. Um, I am also finishing up my swimsuit series. I'm in the middle of hacking a couple of swimsuits for you. I've got a bikini coming your way. So keep an eye out for all of that. Now it's time for you all to go through your patterns and fabric stashes to see what you can pull together for this challenge. If you had fun hanging with me today, I think you might actually enjoy some of my other Friday Sews chats. So I'll put the playlist over here for you to check out. And until next time, I sincerely hope that you find joy and have a wonderful day. Bye.